What we're going to talk about now are the features of the level ride controller. These are all things that you can set to customise the settings on your vehicle to match each vehicle because every vehicle has a different weight, uses different types of bags, has a different ratio of suspension. So in the centre you have your arms that represent the position of the travel, you have the pressure for each of the bags, yeah, more importantly you have your tank pressure so you know as it's filling and each of your corner controls up and down, both front up and down, rear up and down. And then on our menu button, which is the gear up in the corner, you have calibration. You can go over rear only mode if you're setting this up for a tow vehicle where you just have rear bags. You can have right eye on start, on or off. You have your three tank pressure, maximum pressure settings. So turn off at 150, turn off at 175, or turn off at 200. You have your two speeds of valves. The slow speed is generally a manifold style valve. A fast valve is generally a diaphragm valve. We're on pneumatic setting, which is height and pressure. We're on the most accurate setting. We've got our sleep mode, which is so the vehicle will work when the car's turned off. It monitors battery voltage and will actually turn the system off once you go under 12 volts. You can also set your compressor runtime. The compressor runtime is the amount of time the compressor will run after you turn the car off if you wish to get out and have it turn off in any of these times, anything up to 15 minutes. And this also is relying on your battery. Back button will bring you back to where you've got to go your ECU name, your ECU passwords, and everything else, you can click and set them up. When you've actually finished and calibrated, and only when you're finished and calibrated, can you send a separate log. It'll tell you what you're connected to as far as your Wi-Fi. We're on the level ride one. If you're on your home one, that would have your home number. And it's the same once you've calibrated, you can go to support and also send another log. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to calibrate the system. And what you do is you set the vehicle up, to the amount of pressure needed to reach maximum height. Not maximum tank pressure, but the amount of pressure. So we needed 180 PSI to max the suspension out in the front, and we needed 155 to 160 PSI in the back to max the pressure out. We always start at the top of the range and come down, and that way we work out our drop rate straight away, and then we go in and we work out all our corners and all the movements so that we can get the calibration set up on level ground. So we go to our calibration button, we hit on calibration, it says would you like to start, I go to continue, it talks about determine the importance of the vehicle, it says to raise your vehicle to the maximum height and then select the start button in the top right. So we've done that already, our start button is up here and as soon as you do this the vehicle will start to drop. Now a little wait. 10, 15, 20 seconds, it's looking to make sure that all the air is out of the bags. And when it can see that there is no further decay in the bag pressure, it will then raise the vehicle up to around 40% of the travel that it's measured. So we're now well within where we needed to be. You can see that the vehicle's now come back up and that's determined that we're roughly now between 40% of the travel. The compressors will turn back on while the compressors are running, it won't make any adjustments. So you'll have a period of time where you're waiting for the tank to refill. Once the tank refills, the process will keep going and it'll start moving all the corners individually to determine the corner weights and the, the heights of the vehicles you need. So at the moment, we're just waiting for the tank to refill. And so now we're almost up to the refill point. The compressors will turn off once we reach close to 200. And then the car will start going around and adjusting each of the corners. You'll see the pressures and everything start to change, so we're coming back down in the rear. Now it's testing the corners. doing small adjustments on each corner to see how that affects other corners on the vehicle.
Once it gets through the process, it'll lift the vehicle up to 80% of lift. It'll then come back to 50%. And if you've success like we have now, you hit success, so you hit OK. And now you'll see that air out, low, ride, lift, and there is now saved. So you can now go around the vehicle. You can do this with the vehicle off and just trim it, get it to your determined heights that you need, and then we'll press and save and save each of our different heights that we need and then we'll come back and test them. What we're going to do now that we've finished the calibration is we're now going to save our new ride height, our lift height and our low height. We call them low ride and lift because that's part of our voice control system as well and we use that to recognize our voice commands to either go to low, to go to ride or go to lift or air out. Once you've reached the position where you need to be and we've adjusted to where we need to be over our pressures. This vehicle is a little bit uh, twisted being it's an old truck. So to get it level, we need a little bit more pressure in the right rear. So once you get to where you need to do, you press and hold ride. It will come up on the bottom of the screen and that tells you that you're actually at ride height. We're currently in sleep mode. Now in sleep mode, you can actually save the heights and do it all, but it won't show on the screen that you're actually at that screen because in sleep mode you're always in manual mode you're not in actual uh, automatic mode so if the vehicle was running at the time that would stay illuminated and when you go and save the lift height so we'll raise the vehicle up raise it up we press and hold lift we've now saved lift and if we need to come back to ride we can still do it in sleep mode it will light up and then it will go back into manual mode so everything that you do when you're in sleep mode is in manual mode. You can still go to all your automatic settings and everything else. But when you start the vehicle, if you've got ride height on start setup, it'll come to ride and it'll illuminate ride in yellow, saying that you are there. Level Ride also features a voice control. It's the only one on the market that has voice control. And basically what we've done is we've used what's already in the system and made it our own. Our system is called OK Level Ride. OK Level Ride. Me to do. Air out. Air out. Okay, level ride. What you want me to do? Ride. Ride. Okay, level ride. What you want me to do? Air out. Air out. Air out. 